I've got to call it for how I see it, courage under fire. When I used to lead missionary groups from the Philippines into nations in Asia, you know, there, there would be a couple of different reactions. One, you'd, you'd see the poverty, you'd see the overwhelming need, and, and the, the, there were two responses. One, what can I do to help, and, and, and how do I make a difference? The other is, how quickly can I get to the airport and get out of here? And, and I call it the foxhole test. Uh, we saw a foxhole test of, of a candidate for public office, and I find it absolutely amazing that you can take a bullet and stand up and raise your fist and say, we need to fight on. That is courage under fire. It, it, usually, people's knees get weak, and they, and they try to find a way to hide. Uh, but here he is saying, no, uh, that is going to go down in American history as one of the most iconic photographs of all time. In prayer, after all of this, trying to recover, what, you know, Lord, what do you want us to do? Uh, how, how should we respond to these events? And it was curious, he led me into 1 Peter chapter 3. Finally, all of you, let me underline that, all of you, be of one mind, having compassion for one another, love as brothers, be tender-hearted, be courteous, not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. So if you're a Christian and you're part of the Democrat party, let me encourage you, try to bless a MAGA Republican today. If you're a MAGA Republican, you're a supporter of Donald Trump, I encourage you, do the same thing. Try to find a, a Democrat you can bless. We've got to come together as a nation. Uh, the, the level of rhetoric has certainly led to this kind of violence. We are being torn apart at our innermost core over politics. It shouldn't be that way. Melania Trump came out with a letter that it should ring through the ages, and I'll just quote part of it. Let us remember that when the time comes to look beyond the left and the right, beyond the red and the blue, we all come from families with the passion to fight for a better life together while we are here in this earthly realm. Let me amen that. While we're here on this earth, let's be a blessing to each other. Let's not return evil with evil, reviling for worth right, reviling. Let us bless people, and in that, we will inherit a blessing. Well, after Saturday's attack, both Republicans and Democrats are urging Americans to tone down political discourse. In an address from the Oval Office last night, President Biden said politics should never be a violent battlefield. George Thomas has more. In an Oval Office address, President Biden urged...